Welcome to the Classy Career Girl podcast. I'm your host, Anna Runyon, founder and CEO of Classy Career Girl, one of Forbes' most influential career sites. This is a podcast for a community of women who want to turn their passions into work they love. You'll learn how to become happy, successful, and balanced with class, skill, and style. We believe that you can create your future. So stop delaying your great life. Go put yourself out there. You can have your great life and career right now. Hey everyone, welcome to the Classy Career Girl podcast. I am excited because it is planning season and in this episode, I am going to teach you the 2023 year planner, how to make this the year you reach your goals. So this is my favorite time of year. It's time to start breaking down your 2023 vision into annual goals. If annual planning feels overwhelming, I get it. I've created a simple process I take every single year that I teach in my annual planning workshop. And that is actually happening live tomorrow, September 27th. If you're listening to this episode, the day we release it, and you have not signed up yet for our 2023 live planning workshop, make sure you go to classycareergirl.com forward slash planning workshop. This happens live only once one time per year. So this is the event of the year. You do not want to miss it. And planning this so far ahead is really going to get you a head start. You're going to be so prepared for 2023. You're going to have clarity. You're going to have direction. You're going to have a head start and you're going to make 2023 the best year ever. I'm going to teach you how to create great goals that are smart and measurable, how to figure out what goals should be the priority for the next year and how to narrow down your business ideas when you have so many ideas for the year. Also, you're going to learn how to separate your work goals, your personal goals, your family goals, your financial goals, and your health goals. So you are going to love this episode. This is a sneak peek inside of the larger 2023 annual planning workshop. This is actually, um, I took this from last year's workshop. So you're going to get a little behind the scenes sneak peek at, at our planning process and then make sure you join us at our live workshop because we're going to go way deeper. And what we actually do is we even go deeper into helping you create your 90 day plan as well. So not only do we help you create your annual plan for 2023 in the live workshop, but we also take it a step further. So you know exactly what to do from January to March. And then we also, for those entrepreneurs in here or anyone who has a side hustle, we also have an annual business planning part four of the workshop. So you can create an annual plan for your business growth too, including your content, your marketing, marketing and all like your social media, all that stuff as well. So make sure you go to classycareergirl.com forward slash planning workshop for the September 27th live workshop that happens one time a year. And if you're missing this, still go there because you can still get the recording and it's still an amazing workshop to listen to the recording. Um, But I know that these are the exact planning steps I personally took when I found myself dreading another day sitting in a cubicle at work, but feeling stuck because my family was drowning in debt. Enough was enough. I wrote out the plan and what happened next was super exciting. Just 90 days later, my husband and I were running our business together full time. So join me inside the 2023 annual planning live workshop where we will fill out your annual plan together. Um, So enjoy this sneak peek episode behind the scenes of the planning workshop. And then I hope to see you tomorrow at our live workshop. So now that we have this vision of what we want, we can move into setting achievable, realistic 2022 goals that are smart and measurable. Um, I'm going to teach you how to figure out what goals should be the priority for the next year, how to narrow down your business ideas when you have so many ideas for the year, how to separate your work goals and your personal goals and your family goals and your financial goals and your health goals, all the goals, right? And so that's what we're going to cover right now. This is why you're here. I love it. So annual goals. So your hard part is done. You've done your vision. So we have a vision over the next five to 10 years of what we want our life to look like, right? That's what's going to make this so much easier because the hard part is done. And now we need to figure out what we're going to do over the next year to help us reach that vision. Like those first steps we need to take 
over this next year that's going to help us reach that five to 10 year vision. And then we're going to narrow that down to three priorities for the next year. So the easiest way to really narrow this down is to narrow down your direction into these nine categories. So this is really first about rating your, this is, we're going to rate yourself, which might seem a little bit weird, but we really have to start with like an honest assessment of how happy and fulfilled you are in all areas of your life right now. Um, Cause like I said before, like career and life can be very intertwined. This is very, this is big picture. We want to go through everything cause it's all about fulfillment, right? Um, so there's family, health, fun, learning, impact, career, money, faith, and relationships. And this is going to help us figure out what we should focus on over this next year, because there's different times in of our lives when we're focused on different things. And so a current evaluation right now would be to give yourself an honest assessment of where you are right now. You know, ideally we're at a perfect 10 in all areas, right? But that's just not always the case. So where are you today in each of these nine areas of your life? Um, you know, maybe you've been really focused on, you know, your career and now you want to add more learning into your, in, in, into this next year, right? Like maybe there's some sort of career change that you want to make. So you want to learn and get some new experiences. Maybe you want to have more fun. You've been working your butt off and you need to have more fun. Um, maybe you've been working so hard on this career change that you haven't put your health as a priority, right? And so these are all the things that we're going to bring with us when it comes to creating your annual plan and rating yourself on these. So, um, what I would do is, is to help you narrow down the direction at, when you look at those, like what pops out at you as far as where you need to focus over this next year, like which of these nine areas have the lowest fulfillment factor and which ones have the highest fulfillment and which areas are you going to focus on over the next year? So I'd probably pick like the top three that, that you're really going to focus on over this next year. Um, and then which area is like most pressing that you want to focus on over the next 90 days, that's going to help you eventually, uh, do your quarterly focus and put your, your annual plan into quarters, which we're going to talk about here soon. So everyone always has a problem with figuring out what their goals should be. So if that's your, if that's a, an issue you're facing, breaking down that vision into your annual goals, I have a recommendation for you. So I'm just going to tell you what goals you should set. Obviously you can set, there's no wrong way to do this. You can, you can set your top three goals, however you want to. Um, but if you're struggling with coming up with three goals for the year, this is what I usually recommend. I recommend having your here in, in our classy career goal world. So most likely you have a career business goal, right? Maybe you're making some sort of career change. So let's make that our, our number one goal, right? Um, Cause that's why you're here. So ha let's have a career business goal and then let's have um, an income or impact goal. So this, some, you have to figure out what you're most motivated for, by. Like some people are very motivated by income. Um, so you could have like a financial goal for the year and others are more motivated by, um, the number of people that they help. Right. So it could be like, I want to make hundred K this year, or I want to help a hundred women this year. Right. So, um, an income or impact goal, either way you're helping and serving others. Right. So it just works. And then a personal goal. So if you go back to your list, like which personal area, um, were you low on, low on, and that could be your third goal for the year. Um, so for each of these goals, I always recommend that you, you identify your why. So we always have to go back and know why we want this, how this matches our vision, because it's not <laughs> any, in any one of these is not going to be super easy, right? That's why, a lot of you struggle with actually, and I struggle with completing your goals when we don't actually know why we have that goal in the first place, right? We're not really attached to it. Um, and then when it comes to writing those goals, we want to make sure that they're smart. So each of these starts with a letter, uh, S stands for specific. <clears throat> so we want to make sure it's well-defined, it's clear, it's unambiguous. 
Um, we want to make sure that it's measurable. So it has specific criteria that you can measure your progress towards the accomplishment of the goals. You actually know that you completed that goal at the end of the year. Um, we want to make sure that it's achievable and attainable, and it's not like completely impossible. Um, we want to make sure it's realistic, it's within reach, and it's relevant to where you're going in the future, right? It's relevant to your purpose. Uh, we want to make sure it's timely with a clearly defined timeline, including a starting date and a target date. And the reason we want to do this is because we want to have a sense of urgency to complete that goal by a certain date, right? So let me give you some examples. So when we go back to our three main goals, if you if you have a, a career business goal, which like I said, I think a lot of you guys probably have that as your number one goal. Um, it could be to, this is an example of one of my clients. She wanted to launch an online course. Um, a, a, lot, a lot of people start out by saying, I want to launch a business or I want to have a business or I want to turn my side hustle into a full-time business or I want to make a career change, right? These are not smart. That's not a smart goal. So we have to get a little bit more specific and measurable. So I challenged this client to go a little bit more detailed, a little smarter, right? So we changed our goal to launch an online course with at least 20 students by December 31st, 2022. So this way we knew what business she was going to start, right? We had clarity on that. We had clarity on how many students she wanted to help inside of that business. So she knew, you know, by the end of the year, 20 students was how many people she wanted to impact with her course. And then we also had that ending date of when we wanted to complete this goal by. Another example of an impact or an income goal would be to generate a monthly income of at least $10,000 by December 31st, 2022. So this is a good goal if like you don't exactly know how you're going to start your business or what career you're going to pick, but you just know that you want to make more money, right? Like you just know that your life needs to change in 2022 and like something needs to happen. Um, we can figure out the how later, right? Like we can figure out what the business is and what the career is and how, how we're going to make it all happen, but just setting a monthly income goal, maybe it's a higher amount than what you're making now will help kind of guide us over this next year. Um, you could also just help have a, an impact goal, which is, I mean, this was one that I had, I think, um, years ago, helping, um, 50 women launch their dream careers by December 31st, 2022. Right. Because I knew if I was helping others, my business was going to grow. I was going to be able to quit my day job. As long as I just focused on helping others, helping women launch their dream careers. And then an example of a personal goal would be to read at least one book per month, 12 books by December 31st. Uh, 2022. So those are some examples for you. Um, like I said, there's no right or wrong. I know I got a question in the Facebook group yesterday um, from someone who said like, can I have three, um, you know, career goals and three, uh, three personal goals? Totally fine. And as you'll see on your annual plan, there's a section on the bottom um, that says personal goals, right? So if you want to make those top three, uh, and that's what I do, actually, I usually make those top three goals, something to do with my career business or professional or development leadership. And then my personal goals are kind of like financial health relationships um, on the bottom of that annual plan. Uh, here's the slide that tells you that. So there's also a place, like I just said, to write three personal goals on the bottom. Um, this is where you can put your personal goals, your financial, physical, hobby, family, spiritual relationship goes, goals, all that can go down there. And then on the bottom of that annual plan, there's also a next year category. So you don't need to focus on all your goals over the next five years this month, right? <laughs> or this year. And so this is what this category is for, is for, because we want to keep you focused on those three main goals per year, um, plus those additional personal goals if desired. And so by adding this next year list, when you think of something new you want to do throughout the year, just don't let it get you distracted from what you need to focus on now, right? Um, so that'll be 2023. So maybe it's like, you want to start your business in 2022, and then by 2023, you want to write a book. So let's keep the book on 2023, right? Let's not let that get us off track from our three main goals of the year.
Hey there, thank you so much for listening to today's episode of the Classy Career Girl podcast. If you want to dive in deeper with me, get more free training and advice to help you find a job or business you love that supports the life that you really want, I'd love to invite you to check out more of my free blog posts, more free videos, and to give you the opportunity to download my free 90-day planning workbook. The best place to get started is to go to www.classycareergirl.com forward slash free stuff. And that will guide you to the best place to start. So I look forward to helping you and supporting you further in reaching your goals and dreams. I will see you soon.